Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from this month's sponsor, Ethico. In the delicate arena of compliance, every conversation matters. Traditional methods can leave callers feeling unheard, but Ethico changes the game. Our empathetic interview technique reshapes compliance calls into powerful, compassionate interactions, ensuring no crucial detail is missed. It's about creating a conversation that matters, that resonates, that makes a difference. Be the change in your compliance approach. See the transformation for yourself at ethico.com slash CPN. Book a demo, try our free ROI calculator, and explore the white paper by Tom Fox, the ROI of compliance. The Daily Compliance News for July 31, 2024, the Just a Footnote edition. And we begin with that story from the Wall Street Journal, uh, Dave Michaels reporting in the law section with the story that the taint of a corporate criminal conviction is not what it used to be, and that the Boeing uh, criminal plea uh, upcoming to be uh, addressed by the court is in many ways just a footnote to doing business. Being branded a felon um, does very little to a company, and Boeing's done a, quote, spectacular job of trashing its own reputation over the past three years. So not even anything but a footnote. Uh, Next up, from Business Insider, Insider Africa, an incredibly interesting story about the top 10 most corrupt fish officials in Nigeria. Um, corruption is ranked number four among the most important problems affecting Nigeria. And this article lists the top 10 most corrupt officials in um, Nigeria. And um, it's a very interesting way to present this information. Um, And the top 10 are prosecutor, land registry offices, judges, customs officials, embassy consular officers, members of parliament, police officers, vehicle inspection officers, federal road survey corps, and tax and revenue officers. Uh, Next up from the BBC, a uh, sort of a summary piece on the post office horizon scandal and why hundreds were wrongfully prosecuted. This scandal uh, really didn't make too much news in America, but it was a horrific scandal where literally hundreds of sub-postmasters in the UK Royal Mail were uh, tried, uh, charged, tried, and convicted of corruption based upon a faulty computer program. And the post office hid this information for many years until it was finally broken, I think, by the BBC. And uh, it's so bad that a law was passed uh, overturning all of the convictions and recompensating these. Of course, you can never be compensated after you've been criminally convicted of fraud. And our final story comes to us from the FT, which is about the um, current, most recent CEO at Starbucks, when Laxman Narish Mahan, who took over as a Starbucks chief executive last year. Obviously, he's been under a lot of criticism for the performance of the company. But for me, the most significant was former CEO Howard Schultz, who said that, um, I think we're not at our best right now, end quote. So when you've got the former CEO criticizing you, it's obviously not a good thing. And uh, I really have respected Howard Schultz as a business person. But at some point, he's going to have to let go and uh, quit trying to run the company, even though he's been CEO multiple times. So good luck to the current CEO of Starbucks. I hope you can uh, get things straightened out. But uh, Howard Schultz, just shut up, go off into the sun, and quit criticizing your predecessor. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.